Good afternoon. Welcome to the Cathedral Basilica of St. Louis. Today we celebrate the solemnity of the most holy body and blood of Christ. Our hymns and service music are found in the worship sheet. There is also a separate Corpus Christi procession program, which can be found at the doors or the ushers may give you. Our entrance hymn is Alleluia, Sing to Jesus. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, as we gather on this solemnity of the body and blood of Christ, we begin here in our country, the United States, three years dedicated to the Holy Eucharist, that great gift given to us by Jesus at the Last Supper. Jesus, who wanted to be with us always, feeds us with his own body and blood until the end of time when he returns again. Let us reflect on how we have received the Eucharist in our lives, how we have brought the presence of Jesus to others. For those times when we have failed through our sinfulness, let us seek the Lord's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned 
in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, who in this wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion, grant us, we pray, so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood that we may always experience in ourselves the fruits of your redemption, who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
A reading from the book of Genesis. In those days, Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought out bread and wine. And being a priest of God most high, he blessed Abram with these words. Blessed be Abram by God's most high, the creator of heaven and earth. And blessed be God most high, who delivered your foes into your hand. Then Abram gave him a tenth of everything. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you. That the Lord Jesus, on the night he was handed over, took bread, and after he had given thanks, broke it and said, this is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, also the cup, after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. 
For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. came down from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats this bread will live forever.
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus spoke to the crowds about the kingdom of God and he healed those who needed to be cured. As the day was drawing to a close, the 12 approached him and said, dismiss the crowd so that they can go to the surrounding villages and farms and find lodging and provisions, for we are in a deserted place here. He said, give them some food yourselves. They replied, five loaves and two fish are all we have unless we ourselves go and buy food for all these people. Now the men there numbered about 5,000. Then he said to the disciples, have them sit down in groups of about 50. So they did so and made them all sit down. Then taking the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven, he said the blessing over them, broke them, and gave them to the disciples to set before the crowd. They all ate and were satisfied. And when the leftover fragments were picked up, they filled 12 wicker baskets. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. An elderly lady once shared her story with me. Her husband, to whom she had been married for many years, was well into the disease of Alzheimer's. And she went to visit him every day. And she talked about the experience of him not recognizing her anymore, how difficult it was for her to realize that it had come to that point. But she did not stop going to visit him. She said, I wanted him to know in one way or another that I was near him, that I was with him, that we had spent so many years together in marriage, so many happy years, that I would not abandon him even if he did not recognize me. What a story of love, of living out their marriage vows all the way till the end. What a realization that she had of the importance of presence, of being with her husband even though he could not recognize her. But she knew that he had to have someone who recognized him to be near him and with him and to stay with him until the Lord took him home. That presence, as we well know, is so important in our humanity. As we struggled over these past years with the COVID virus, we know the pain of isolation, of not being able to visit with one another of not seeing family members for long periods of time, and how good it feels that we can visit again, that we can be with one another, even here in this very place, gathering together as God's people, giving to God praise in the faith that unites us. 
presence, indeed, is very important. When Jesus sat down with his disciples at that Last Supper, he too was keenly aware of the importance of presence. For three years, Jesus had journeyed with them and they had learned from him, had witnessed all that he had done. And Jesus, even though he knew, he could not be physically present with them forever. At that last supper, change that Passover meal into something that was totally different, far beyond the apostles or our own imaginations. He gave to us his body and blood. The words that Jesus used at the Last Supper that are related to us in sacred scripture, this is my body, this is my blood. Do this in remembrance of me. Those are words of promise that Jesus gave not only to the apostles who were gathered in that upper room that day, those are words of promise that Jesus gives to each one of us. That's why they were so carefully recorded in sacred scripture. And so we have the great gift of the Eucharist. And we all know that sometimes we can take those gifts for granted. We can take them out of habit, knowing that they're always there. We come to receive communion. We know that Jesus touches our hearts. Do we take that presence for granted? For what Jesus asked of his apostles and what he asks of each one of us is that we take his presence into the world. And so we ourselves, have to show that that presence of the Lord Jesus, which we receive in that greatest gift ever given to humanity, transforms us, changes us, makes us more like Jesus. And so we are called in receiving the Blessed Sacrament to take Jesus' presence out to others. It's when people see Jesus shining through us that their lives too are changed. It's when they see the love of Jesus working through us that they feel the presence of Jesus in the world. It is when people witness the fact that we give reverence to the great gift that has been given to us that they themselves begin to understand why the Eucharist is the central part of our faith lives. The presence of Jesus with us, sadly, can be taken for granted. It should never be. The presence of Jesus with us always needs to be celebrated. That's why we gather is God's people together. That's why we acclaim Jesus is Lord as we celebrate the Eucharist. That's why we prepare ourselves to welcome that presence of Jesus to our hearts through confession. We do so, so that Jesus can truly transform who we are, so that we can go out into the world to be that transformative presence. Jesus indeed, at the Last Supper, gave to his apostles and gives to us the great gift of his presence. But our response to that gift is to take the presence of Jesus into the world, to show that we have been transformed by what we receive and that we are to become what we receive. The Eucharist is our medicine for immortality. It prepares us for the next world as heaven touches our lives in the presence of the Eucharistic Lord. 
And so as we respond to this feast of Corpus Christi, and over these next three years, as we, the Catholics of the United States, seek to be drawn closer to God through the Eucharist and closer to our church, let us ask the Lord to bless us with that awareness of his presence, with the ability to welcome him into our lives and know that he calls us, who have been so gifted by him, to be agents of change in our world. It is with one voice that we profess this, our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. To God, the Father Almighty, dear brothers and sisters, may every prayer of our heart be directed, for his will it is that all humanity should be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. For the church throughout the world, May the Lord strengthen faithful communities united in love of God and neighbor. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For civic leaders, may the Holy Spirit guide them in embracing sound principles in solving the issues before them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick or in need, may the love of Christ comfort them and give them hope. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this Eucharistic assembly, may the Lord help us grow in faith and love, bearing fruit in the manner of our lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our beloved dead, that seeing the face of God, they may live in everlasting joy, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O oh God, our refuge and our strength, Hear the prayers of your church, for you yourself are the source of all devotion. And grant, we pray, that what we ask in faith, we may truly obtain through Christ our Lord. Amen.
It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed be the Lord, God of all creation. Fruit of the vine and worth of the Pray now, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant your church, O Lord, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace, whose signs are, are, soon to be in, are shrouded in mystery in the offerings that we here present. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For at the Last Supper with his apostles, establishing for the ages to come the saving sacrifice of the cross, he offered himself to you in the unblemished lamb, the acceptable gift of perfect praise. Nourishing your faithful by this sacred mystery, you make them holy, so that the human race, bounded by one world, may be enlightened by one faith, and united by one bond of charity. And so we approach the table of this wonderful sacrament, so that bathed in the sweetness of your grace, we may pass over to the heavenly realities which are here foreshadowed. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we with all the host of angels cry out, 
and without end we acclaim. And all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration so that they may become the body and blood of your son our lord jesus christ at whose command we celebrate these mysteries for on the night he was betrayed he himself took bread and giving you thanks he said the blessing broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and giving you thanks he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we were nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Louis, St. Rose Philippine Duchenne, St. Vincent de Paul, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and in charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, with me, your unworthy servant, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people whom you have gained for your own. 
Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace, I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, but only say the A reminder that those who'd like to receive Holy Communion on the tongue are invited to do so at the communion rail. Thank you.
Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that we may delight for all eternity in that share of your divine life, which is foreshadowed in the present age by our reception of your precious body and blood, who live and reign forever and ever. Before we start our Eucharistic procession, I would also like to take this opportunity to wish all of our fathers a very happy Father's Day. Thank you for your vocation and all that you do for your children and your grandchildren in showing forth the love of God through your lives. Please kneel. Our exposition hymn is O Salutaris.
pray for us. Virgin most merciful, pray for us. Virgin most faithful, pray for us. Mirror of justice, pray for us. Seat of wisdom, pray for us. Spiritual vessel, pray for us. Mystical rose, pray for us. Tower of David, pray for us. Ark of the Covenant, pray for us. Gate of Heaven, pray for us. Morning Star, pray for us. Comfort of the afflicted, pray for us. Queen of Angels, pray for us. Queen of Patriarchs, pray for us. Queen of Prophets, pray for us. Queen of Apostles, pray for us. Queen of Virgins, pray for us. Queen of all saints, pray for us. Queen conceived without original sin, pray for us. Queen assumed into heaven, pray for us. Queen of the most holy rosary, pray for us. Queen of families, pray for us. Queen of peace, pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Let us pray. Grant, we beseech thee, O Lord our God, that we, your servants, may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body, and by the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, may be delivered from present sorrow and obtain eternal joy through Christ our Lord. of that last supper, seated with his chosen band. He the paschal victim eating, first fulfills the law's command. Then as food to all his brethren, gives himself with his own hand. Word made flesh the bread of nature, by his word to flesh he turns. Wine into his blood he changes, what the sense no change discerns. Only be the heart in earnest, faith her lesson quickly learns. You have given them bread from heaven, having all sweetness within it. Let us pray. Lord our God, in this great sacrament, we come into the presence of Jesus Christ, your Son, born of the Virgin Mary and crucified for our salvation. 
May we who declare our faith in this fountain of love and mercy drink from it the water of everlasting life through Christ our Lord. Let us every moment praise the most holy sacrament. May our God, present in this sacrament, be praised now and forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Soul of my Savior, sanctify my breast. Body of Jesus, be my saving guest. Blood of my Savior, bathe me in thy tide. Wash me with waters flowing from thy side. Straight testing, 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 testing. May thy passion be. O blessed Jesus, hear and answer me. Deep in thy wounds, Lord, hide and shelter me. So shall I never, never part from thee.
Let us pray. Blessed Joseph, husband of Mary, be with us this day. You protected and cherished the virgin, loving the child Jesus and You rescued him from the danger of death, defend the church, the household of God, purchased by the blood of Christ. Guardian of the Holy Family, be with us in our trials. May your prayers obtain the strength to flee from hell and wrestle the powers so that in the life, so that in life we may grow in holiness and in death rejoice in the crown of victory through Christ our Lord. Doubt in adoration falling. For the sacred host we hail, over ancient forms of worship, new rites of grace prevail. Faith will tell us Christ is present. You have given them bread from heaven. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever.
I'm leaving. 